So good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, Peggy. Oops, clicker. Um, a little bit of background. My sister Jane was a pioneer, as so many lupus patients are. When she was diagnosed in 1979, even the very best doctors knew very little about lupus. Jane and her doctors fought a 25-year battle to keep her healthy. My father, John Luke, was one of the founding members of the LRI. And um, both he and my mother, Joy, were determined to save my sister and to help others in the process. It's in their honor that I always do all I can to make life without lupus a reality. Today, it's heartwarming to give you an overview of LRI's role in advancing research and advocacy, and to highlight a few of our accomplishments. There's lots of good news to share, and good news is my favorite kind of medicine. So, the LRI was founded, as many of you know, in the year 2000, with the goal of advancing lupus research nationwide. We are uniquely dedicated to novel research to prevent, treat, and cure lupus. And there is exciting success. LRI has recently announced a new $170 million milestone, delivering unprecedented novel research, uh, novel research funding, and unprecedented research results, changing the lives of lupus patients. A new analysis of completed LRI novel research grants demonstrates an astounding 84% success rate as scientists prove cutting edge hypotheses, publish results, and win extended fund federal funding to advance original discoveries to clinical development. We are proud that 92 cents of every dollar donated goes directly to research. Over the last 12 years, LRI has awarded and funded 140 novel research grants. That investment of $40 million has turned into $170 million, as I said. That happened as LRI researchers received unmatched levels of follow-on funding from the NIH and other sources extending their innovative work. And that just counts the completed research grants and their three-year grants. So there's more good news coming. LRI novel research has uncovered new genes, molecules, and pathways that are now new targets for drug development. Deep understanding of the disease makes lupus uh, makes lupus drug development more attractive for investment by the pharmaceutical companies, an effect known as de-risking. Unlike steroids and immunosuppressant drugs traditionally used to treat lupus, targeted treatments hone in on parts of the immune system causing trouble. Belimanap, or Benlista, which targets B cells, is the first approved targeted treatment for lupus, but many more are in development. Repurposing of drugs has also generated important therapies for lupus. In fact, most of medicine used in standard of care, most of the medicine used in standard of care are drugs that were designed for use in other diseases. Many of you may be familiar with some of these drugs. Celsept, methotrexate, imiram, rituximab. This repurposing has been done by clinical investigators. We recently announced that the LRI and the Alliance for Lupus Research, ALR, are collaborating to identify even more promising drugs that can be immediately tested and repurposed for use with lupus patients. Finding drugs approved for use in other conditions that are beneficial to lupus patients gets the medicine to the patients much faster uh, than trying to develop a brand new drug. 
but we need some of those too. Today, I'll mention two examples of how our research is impacting patient care now and offering promise for the future. Consider how lupus harms the heart. In the general population, good cholesterol protects from heart disease. But LRI research showed that in lupus patients, good cholesterol is chemically altered to a form that actually contributes to atherosclerosis. That discovery has led to new ways to identify and treat patients at risk for heart disease. As you can see, tremendous progress is happening in treating kidney disease and kidney damage caused by lupus nephritis with 30 clinical trials of new drugs. And non-invasive diagnostics means that patients will be able to avoid surgical biopsies to diagnose and monitor kidney damage. Advocacy matters. Right, Kathleen? <laughs> the LRI National Coalition includes 20 lupus organizations covering the coasts and major urban centers. Together, the coalition advocates for lupus awareness, alleviating racial disparities, lupus medical education, federal support for lupus research, and clinical trial participation. We, we collaborated with the offices of Minority Health, Women's Health, and the Surgeon General on documenting the need for and initiating a program to educate healthcare professionals in recognizing, diagnosing, and treating lupus. Working together, $4.6 million in federal funding has been secured over a five-year period for a program launched last spring called the Lupus Initiative. The program addresses racial disparities and fosters improved diagnosis and treatment. LRI is proud to have been invited to testify on behalf of lupus patients at a federal appropriations subcommittee hearing last spring. Dr. Richard Fury, uh, presented our position explaining the need for funding for lupus research from the NIH. The proposed budget, as Peggy said, includes mm -hmm. this funding, so we really hope it's passed soon. LRI co-hosted a briefing for Congress with other lupus organizations to launch the Cong Congressional Lupus Caucus, and membership is increasing. We have engaged our supporters, asking them to contact representatives, their representatives, and encourage them to join the caucus to raise lupus awareness at the federal level. We co-hosted a Senate briefing to raise awareness of lupus as a public health issue and to highlight the need for federal funding as research breakthroughs have been made with tremendous promise for the future. With other interested organizations, we called upon Congress to strengthen support for biomedical research at the NIH. While private funding, um, while privately funded research is the engine for discovery, we need sustained long-term growth in NIH-funded medical research to turn innovation into new treatments and cures. So, Science is opening doors, and much progress is being made. Advocates are reaching out and gaining support. To keep up the good work, we need your help. The bigger and more involved the lupus community is, the more we will accomplish. Here's how you can help. Get informed. Connect with us, and I know lots of you already have. Learn about the latest in cutting-edge research funded by the LRI. Visit our website, lupusresearchinstitute.org, and sign up for newsletters, email updates, and advocacy news. When there's a major national issue, we'll be sure you know about it. Talk. Get the word out. 
educate people about lupus and the importance of research. Get involved. Donate to research. Donating to the LRI makes all the difference in the fight against lupus. Remember, 92 cents of every dollar goes directly to research. Talk with your doctor and consider clinical trials. Clinical trial research um, to test new potential drugs and diagnostic tests is essential for safer and more effective treatments. And become an advocate. Make your voice heard. Let your state and federal representatives know how their policies, or the policies they're making, impact people with lupus. And mostly stay tuned. There will be life without lupus, I promise. Together, we can make it happen.